I'm gonna read this problem again, and this time I'm going to close read it with you. So, the city garden has red and pink rose bushes. There are 119 red, and there are 17 fewer pink rose bushes than red. About how many rose bushes are in the city garden? Lots going on here, friends. The big question that we're asking you is right here. About, about, what does that mean? This means that we're gonna be looking for an estimate. We're looking for an estimate. I want you to see how this question changes when I do one simple thing. I want you to see how the question changes, friends, and it changes this way. If I take out that one word and I ask you how many rose bushes are in the city garden, I need the actual amount. That is not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you about how many, which means we are estimating. When you see that word, that is an estimation word. This is where close reading is necessary. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is this, and it is a very common error that students make. Take a look here at the, at the pink rose bushes. I want you to look at the words. 17 fewer pink rose bushes than red. This question is not saying to you that there are 17 pink rose bushes. It is telling you that there's 17 fewer than red. So how would you calculate pink? It's the original 119 and you're gonna take out the 17 fewer. That equals pink. Be very, very careful, friends, when you are reading these questions. They're meant to see if you're paying attention, all right? So now we've marked it up. Now we know what we're doing. Here we go. Round to the nearest 10 and solve. Round to the nearest 10 and solve. Very important. We have two steps here. We're rounding and then we're solving. All right, so it's telling you here that that 119 rounds to 120. Now, taking it all the way back to our rounding strategies, friends, remember what we do when we round. This is going all the way back to like last summer, last fall. If we take 119 and we're rounding to the nearest 10, we need to identify the space to which we're rounding. I'm rounding to the tens place. If you are uncomfortable with place value, please review it. Please review it. If this is a challenge for you during independent work time, stop. Go back and review place value. The ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, we are rounding to the nearest 10. Identify the place, that's step number one. Go next door, knock on the door, see what your neighbor's got. If your neighbor's got five or more, that place is rounding up. If it's four or less, you're letting that place rest. When we go next door, that neighbor's got a lot which is going to tell you that that place is going to round to 120. Five or more, add one more friends. All right, and that's what it's telling you here. 119 rounds to 120. 17 rounds to 20. 
y, if we take 17, we are rounding to the nearest 10. We go next door, five or more, it goes up. And that is rounding to 20. And that's what it's telling you here, 17 rounds to 20. So you know that 120 minus 20 is 100. So you estimate 100 pink rose bushes. Can we all agree that 120 minus 20 is 100? We also know that 120 plus 100 equals 220. So you can estimate 220 total rose bushes. And now we're gonna solve for the actual number. The actual number. When you add the actual number together, you're going to get 221 in total. That is close to the 220 estimate, so it's reasonable. Rounding, estimating helps you check the reasonableness of a solution that you came up with. All right. Now, what are you going to be tasked with for the hybrid students during your independent work time? Well, you are going to have several questions to take a look at. Here on page 407, it reads, for the concert, 109 adult tickets were sold, 60 more, 67 more student tickets are sold than adult tickets. How many tickets are sold in all? You need to complete this table. Just as we did above, check out the example. And then you need to write an equation that's going to help you solve. Remember that these letters offered are always for the unknown. That's the unknown. On page 408, you're going to see more of the same type of organizer, but this one it's going to be about cars and bikes. Cars and bikes, same thing. In the school parking lot, there are 113 fewer bikes than cars. There are 185 cars. How many cars and bikes are in the parking lot? And then you round to the nearest 10 to estimate. In question four, it's gonna talk about pages in a book. Be sure to close read these questions. Stop if you do not understand what the question is asking you. Okay. We're gonna come back together for just a moment, or we're gonna have a brief discussion before the hybrid students go off to see Mrs. Luna.